Hey there, it's Jen, and I'm here with another process video for you using the Ellie Studio September kit and a few extra things that are from the new family, is it called family love? Family fun collection, sorry, um, that I'm going to use for this layout. So I'm starting with this photo of my daughter and she is doing the dishes, but I wanted to talk about how she um, went through all of our cabinets and drawers and reorganized them and how proud I was of her for doing that. I didn't even ask her to do it. Um, and she did it. And so this so proud of you card called out to me for that reason. And there's so much empty space in the top of this photo because there's a lot of the ceiling in there that I was thinking I was going to cut out these words. So proud of you, which might seem insane to you, but I like fussy cutting and, and I want to do that, but you could definitely not do that if you didn't want to. Um, and then I'm going to use some other cards for kind of um, tucking behind the photo and stuff. This card is actually from a summer uh, or a sunny days or a summer uh, collection, which I will try to remember to link in the video description. Um, but the other two cards are from the September kit. And then I also pulled out some six by six papers from the family fun collection that I might layer up behind the photo. We'll see what ones I'm going to use. I really love this circle one um, with the pink because she's wearing a pink sweater. And then um, I have these which are from the new mini collection, Good Eats I think is what it's called. And I thought about putting this silverware on here because she um, organized the silverware drawer and she's doing dishes and stuff. And then in this little um, container here I have some of the extras from this month and so there are the little wood veneer pieces that are uh, like, um, what are they called? Borders. They're just little short little borders. And then the stamp set from this month. And I have some of the die cuts that came in the kit as well. This one that says high five, I'll probably use for sure because it's yellow and I want to give her a high five. And then sequins. So um, those are the things I'm going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and get this layout started. So as I mentioned, I'm going to hand cut out this so proud of you little quote here from this card. And I'm going to cut each letter individually, but I'm showing you here for just a second that you could leave them the words together if you wanted to, but I cut each individual letter. So I spared you from watching me do that. And now I'm playing around with the six by six papers to see if I can create an interesting cluster behind my photo. And so I decided to go with the two more solid papers close to my photo since it's got a white border. And then I'm going to put, I cut this, this uh, white six by six paper in half and I'm going to make it look like it spreads across um, the top and bottom of those pieces. And that's a great way to use six by six pattern papers and make them look like they're larger is to just cut them in half and then spread them across. I'm doing the same thing with this blue uh, check pattern as well. And so, uh, you can see that it looks like there's a whole strip of blue pattern paper behind there, but really it's just two little pieces. I'm using a card to tuck into the left of the photo, and then I'm using the leftover pieces from the So Proud of You, those two yellow pieces there. I'm gonna use those as well. I'm gonna shuffle them around a bit before the end of the layout, but I'm gonna start sticking stuff down now, and you're gonna see me struggle. Um, I should have gotten my ruler out to begin with, but I didn't, and I Oh, maybe I did get it out to begin with, but I still struggled lining everything up. And so um, I'm going to adjust my layers a couple more times <laughs> before I get everything finished here. I'm just kind of holding those things in place as I put a little bit of adhesive on them so I can get them stuck down. And then I'm going to stick uh, these two larger layers down and then kind of slide these pieces underneath it, these white pieces. And this is one where I decide, oh, I can just eyeball this and it doesn't end up working. I have to adjust it later, but that's okay. Um, you know, use your ruler to begin with. So I'm going to pull up this pink paper because I want it to be so that there is an even amount of distance around the photo. Um, I don't know if you can tell what I mean, but the pink goes there's um, about a half an inch of the pink on either side of the top and the right hand side and there is the same amount of distance of the of the gray on the bottom and the left hand side. So I'm just trying to make that an equal amount of spacing. And then here I have that yellow piece looking like it stretches across the layers there and I get it completely crooked because I eyeballed it. <laughs> and usually I don't even use a ruler but man, I was struggling today. So I'm going to use my ruler again and make sure I've got everything straight and I don't and I'm going to adjust things again. <laughs> 
And, um, you know, the struggle is real sometimes, but that's okay. I'm just cutting off a little bit of that because I don't need all of that um, paper and it's getting stuck because of the adhesive. And I kind of decide now that I don't like the way that yellow is looking right there. So I think maybe I need to put it right next to the photo or I'm thinking, the other thing I'm thinking is maybe I need to put it out to the sides. So that's what I'm looking at doing here on either side of that pink paper. And I like that better already. So I'm gonna leave it um, to the sides of my photo instead of on the top and bottom. And my blue paper wasn't straight at, <laughs> lined up with the top edge. So again, I'm just adjusting things. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my title stuck down and because I have so much white space in my photo I'm just going to stick it down right there and I'm going to use my scotch quick dry adhesive to stick it down now this adhesive works really well paper to paper but sometimes not as well on other surfaces and so you're going to see that I get these glued down but they don't stick very well and I decide that it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do is take my sewing machine and stitch through these letters later. So even though they're not sticking completely, um, it's going to be okay because I'm going to stitch through them. So they just need to stick for now, uh, but I'm putting a little bit of extra adhesive down. And I'm just arranging my letters before I start gluing so I can make sure that they're centered. I want to make sure that I have them equally spaced and there's a little exclamation mark there. Just gonna glue that down. Now that Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive is in a fine line bottle and you can buy those bottles empty and just put whatever glue you want in them. And um, this is the, I think the 18 gauge, maybe it's the 20 gauge, it's the thinner one. I have an 18 gauge as well that I have a different kind of adhesive in. So I decide with, with this little heart um, card that I've cut down that I'm going to punch a notebook edge on it. I just felt like it needed some interest. All these layers are looking very boxy. And in the end, the whole layout does look a little boxy for my liking, but you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. So now I'm gonna play around with the wood veneers and I love this circle wood veneer. I thought immediately when I got it of placing um, enamel dots inside of it, but because the kit came, or well, it's an, it's an add-on in the shop, but there are coordinating sequins. I decided that it would be fun to put sequins in there. So that's my plan, but I'm trying to see if I want to add in other wood veneer pieces on the top and bottom of the photo, just kind of as a, another element to that vertical, vertical piece going up and down. But I decide that I don't really like it. So I'm just going to use the circles and I'm, I haven't quite decided where exactly I want to put them yet. So here's where I'm taking some embellishments and I'm placing them to the bottom right of my photo and thinking that I'll put a little cluster on the bottom right and one maybe at the top left. So that's kind of what I've got going on right there. I'm not super loving that right now, but we'll see. I noticed that the fork, spoon, and knife kind of fit nicely next to that yellow piece of um, paper that I had cut the So Proud of You out of. And so I decide to make this kind of like a cross-shaped layout and I'm going to put my journaling next to that, uh, that silverware. <laughs> and um, you'll see in a second how I decide to do that. So that high five I had on top of the little blue arrow, but I decided to put it below the photo instead. And I like the way that the yellow's kind of all clustered in next to the photo and I stamped so good on this arrow and the arrow actually doesn't end up making it to the final layout but I like the way that looks right there um, so I think that you could do that <laughs> so here I'm taking this card and I'm thinking I'll just trim off the rest of this card and I'm going to turn it on the vertical and I'm going to have that be right there and put my journaling next to it but those little scallops didn't quite match my layout and so I decided to use all the details and then I'm looking for another card that I can do my journaling on top of. So there's this little green card that has lines on it um, and I'm just going to cut it down so that I can use just the lines and I'm going to add all the details to the side of it. So it's going to be um, kind of a combo. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a little journaling card that I made myself out of a couple other journaling cards and I think that's totally fine. So I'm gonna glue that down and 
I cut it down so that it was just wide enough to fit the words, all the details, and then I'll cut off that edge that's hanging off the side there in a minute. So I decide that I want to put my circles down above my title. And so I'm just gluing that down with my Scotch Quick Dry adhesive. And then I'm using some, um, this isn't Scotch Quick Dry adhesive that I'm using right now. Maybe it is. <laughs> I have two adhesives and I can't remember if I switched my adhesive when I glued down the sequins or not. Um, but the other adhesive that I like to use is the, the um, ThermoWeb Mixed Media Adhesive. It's really strong for slick if you want to glue anything slick down like sequins or um, acrylic pieces or anything like that. So uh, I'm putting the high five up on foam squares and then I decided to put the little heart right above that and this is where I kind of decide I'm going to have it all be yellow around my photo. So I've got my title, my high five, my yellow sequins, my yellow heart, and then I'm gonna find something yellow to go below the photo as well. So I'm digging through these die cuts, and these are from the new Family Fun collection, but I decided they didn't quite fit the feel of my layout, so I'm just digging through. This is a pile of, of die cuts that I have from past Ellie Studio kits, and I just dug through and found a yellow piece, and I'm going to stamp the date on that little label there. And I'm just doing the month and the year in black, and I stamped August 2017, so that will be my little bit of yellow below my photo, and then I've got a little bit above the photo as well. So I really like the way that ended up looking instead of the original embellishment that I had planned, even though it's a little bit more, um, I, would, I don't wanna say boring, but it doesn't have as much movement as the original embellishments did, but I'm going to be okay with it. So I'm trimming off that uh, edge of that uh, card there and I'm going to do my journaling just with a gray pen and just writing about how proud I was of my daughter for organizing those shelves on her own and I think I'll keep her and it was so awesome and um, yeah just a few sentences there about that and I wrote in gray because I didn't want it to seem too similar to the black that was on the pattern paper and so I I decided to go with gray. Sorry, you can see my, I was charging my camera at the same time I was filming this and usually you can't see the cord, but when I move around a lot, you can and I'm sorry about that. But I'm just stitching around uh, a few different pieces on the layout. You'll see here in just a second when I just, my sewing machine sits on my desk and I just pull it over when I need it. So I stitched on the all the details and I stitched on the little uh, heart a tab at the top and the little tab that I stamped the date on at the bottom and then I stitched down the um, title. And so I'm just pulling all the threads through to the back and then using some washi tape to secure those uh, loose ends and then I'll cut those all off. And I like to do it that way. If I don't have my threads hanging down on the front, I like to pull them through and make sure they're secure on the back. I don't want anything unraveling. So I've got that that done now and I'm just kind of like ruffling up the edges of, of a few different things there and I think I'm almost done here I I kind of decided that it needed some more black because the title has a black outline around the white I find that uh, it's helpful to add a black outline somewhere else so I decide to outline the entire layout with my black Ellie studio pen that I got a few months back uh, in a birthday celebration kit um, or any purchase I think got that little Ellie Studio pen. I can't remember exactly, but um, I'm gonna decide to also outline some of my pattern papers as well. Actually, I think I outline all of them. And I'm just doing a single outline on the papers, but I did a double outline around the edge of the layout. And I end up liking the way that looks and I feel like it ties in the title and the different black elements that I have going on in the rest of the layout. After I did that, I kind of thought maybe it just needed one more little thing. And so I was thinking about doing some blue or some black paint splatters and uh, mist splatters. And I decided to go with some black and I'm using um, warm calico from Studio Calico. And I couldn't decide for sure if I wanted to do this. So I decided to grab some plastic packaging and sprinkle some mist on that first to decide if I wanted it there. And I'm kind of just 
looking at it to see if I like it and I decide to just go for it and so I'm doing some at the top left and the bottom right and that is going to complete my layout. I hope that you've enjoyed and I will link to all available products in the video description below. Head over to Ellie's studio or shop elliestudio.com for more information and head over to the blog where you can see uh, this layout and all of the photos. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again very soon.